beginning our walkthrough on New Game Plus. This is my cleric build. I'll go ahead and show you everything he has. A lightning longsword plus 10. Now, I used to PvP on this guy, so he's going to be belt built pretty well. I'm going to change the longsword to a claymore if I don't like it, though. And now I'm using lightning pate spear plus 5. I was using uh, the old Dragon Slayer spear, but it couldn't be buffed, so I switched to pates. Uh, I'm using the Lightning Hunter's Black Bow, plus 10. And I have the Ring of Blades, plus 2. Oh, someone right in my message. I don't even know which one it is. I have the Southern Ritual Band, plus 2. I have the Kaloyathri Ring, plus 2. And the Third Dragon Ring. I'm using the Lightning Dragon Chime. This requires 50 faith to use, but is a very nice chime. And I'm wearing DLC armor, the Drake Blood set. You get it in the first DLC. It's all plus 10. And that's my build. I'll show you my stats too. They're a little messy, but it helps me play the character. I don't know why my faith is 55. I think it may be for a spell. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get some stuff around here. And we're going to go off and to the Cardinal Tower. There's an Estus Flash Shard. All you gotta do is push that rock over. And the shard's right here. But I have max shards. You can only have 12 Estus Flask. And it can only be buffed to plus 5. I only have plus 4 right now, but I have all 12. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the Cardinal Tower. I really liked PvPing on this cleric. I'm probably gonna make another one. But I might not use heavy armor. There's a chest there. I don't really care to loot it. I think it has a, some sort of shield in it. These gates take forever to open. I have the also the longsword is a DLC longsword. You only had a chance to get it on one day, right before the first DLC came out. Well, maybe not the first one. It was one of the DLCs. I've done this so many times. I love this game. Ooh, five human effigies. Good, I think I only had like three. Oh, I'm still in the Brotherhood of Blood. I was going to do the Champions Covenant, but... This is going to be a solo run. But I don't know if I'll join the Champions Covenant. Yeah, clerics, they hit really hard, especially if your faith is pretty high. Mm, dropped an item. A oh, life gem. I have 51 of those. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I might get invaded by some blue sentinels. I won't bother sitting. I don't need to. The spells I'm using is Sacred Oath, it's a buff. And I'm using Sunlight Blade for my weapons. And I'm using Great Lightning Spear. I don't have Sunlight Spear. I didn't join this covenant. Bandit's Knife. When I was PvPing, I didn't use Sacred Oath. It takes a lot up, I think, three slots. Don't shoot me. You missed. So I switched to Great Magic Barrier, which really helps out if you're fighting any sort of Sorcerer, Hexer, Pyromancer, or Cleric. And I think it only takes one slot as well. And when you go up this ladder, there are going to be a lot of enemies up here. I probably should have switched to my longsword. I'm going to do that as soon as I get up here. Taking a couple hits, but they're not going through my poise. Look out for the archer that's up there, too. It's annoying. I'm getting a ton of life gems. I have a problem with wasting those, though. 
I'll have like six Estus flasks, and then I'll just use a life gem because I'm like, oh, I might need this Estus flask for a boss. I don't usually need it for a boss. There's two guys up here. He just uses his fist, and this guy has an axe. If you have a linear weapon like that, it's pretty easy to kill him. But be careful if you don't, like if you use a long sword or something, it could smack the wall and then you can get hit. Happens to me all the time. Now. It took me a while to get used to the jumping in this game too. A short sword and a soul, a lost undead. Bunch of random items and stuff. Now I don't want to drop down because that is quite a bit of fall damage and I don't I don't trust it. So I am gonna go the long way around. I don't know if I should kill the hide knight or not. I mean might as well. See how much damage I'll do to him. I'll go ahead and buff me. Since I have three of those anyway. Hello, sir. Mind if I stab you? Oh, that might have been a good idea. Poke, 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 poke. Oh, that was too easy. High Knight Sword. I think I already have that. Broken Straight Sword. Kind of useless. Human Effigy. And then... A Life Gem. Again. See that guy on the ground there? He's not dead. He's taking a nap. He gets it pretty quick, though. I could get up that quick. Phantoms, I love seeing all that. I like how this game is online. To see other players and stuff. There's two guys here. I usually go for the guy with the dagger first because the guy with the axe is pretty slow. If you break this here, there's bolts. Heavy bolts for a crossbow. I use a regular bow. Try to fast that. Oh, turn him around. He drop something. Yeah, his armor. Their armor's not too great. Ow. Yeah, I have plenty of Estus, so I won't need to waste any life or anything. I'm gonna switch to my bow here because there's gonna be two guys. One's shooting it. arrows at you, and the other one has fire bombs. Yeah, when, it, when you have your bow drawn like that, you move slower. Oh, I'm Got gotcha you that time. Ooh, I don't have a lot of arrows. I'm gonna shoot this guy right in his butt. Oh, ho, ho. don't come at me. Yeah, they can be really annoying if you come up here with them both up. I don't know really why I blocked that, but I did. Probably one of the first times I've blocked with a weapon. <laughs> oh, a shield. I don't think I've ever seen their shield drop before. You can go over here. There's one guy waiting to hit you. And then there's a buckler. It's a parrying shield, I think. Oh, it looks like you dropped something. over here and there's witching urns and this guy's sitting down. He won't stand up for a little bit until you pick up the stuff or you walk towards him. I usually just kill him before I pick up the urns. And five of those. Those can come in handy later on. And we made it. Not too bad on New Game Plus. You have a bunch of weapons and stuff. Look at that. I will be doing PvP a lot. We made it to the Cardinal Tower. There's Merchant Hag there. If you talk to her after you kill the Lost Giant, she'll move into Majula. Thought I'd let you know that. I'll see you next time.